Lycodium species. Lycodium is a leptosporangiate fern that is of immense ecological importance. Outside its native range, it is a very weedy, noxious weedy species as it causes endangerment of the local flora or, or um, in the non-native range and uh, inside the native range it has also got very uh, good ecological significance because it is a host plant, a food plant of a wide variety of insects, weevils and lepidopteran. Hello friends, I am Ayantika and in this video I am going to discuss about the reproduction and life cycle in Ligodium species. This fern is in the syllabus, MSc syllabus of Veer Narmad South Gujarat University. So let's start the reproduction and life cycle of Ligodium. Ligodium is a mega phyllous and dimorphic. Mega phyllous means that the a leaf it uh, it has got it is a large leaf and uh, where the leaf is uh, the central um, uh, central vascular bundle a uh, vascular strand that diverges and uh, forms a reticulate type of venation and so this megaphyllous leaf in ligodium is dimorphic means Two types of leaves are present. One is the sterile leaves and another is the fertile leaves. Here in this diagram we see these are the fertile, uh, these are the fertile leaves. These are the fertile leaves and uh, we see that in the fertile leaves the marginal area is lobed and each of these marginal lobes it bears two rows of sporangia. So these are the two rows of sporangia. This is the diagram where we can very uh, clearly see that each of the row of sporangia are born on either side of the central vein. And in this, uh, this is a type of sp um, uh, sp uh, sorry where only one sporangia is present. So only in the Ligodium we see and also Glycania the sorus contain only one sporangia. So single sporangiate sori are present on um, either side of the vein on the lower surface of the leaf. The lower surface of the leaf they actually form they, uh, they fold and form a laminar flange that act as a inducium in, uh, to the sporangium. Usually inducium is a thin membrane that cover the sporangium to protect it but uh, here the leaf lamina it folds it uh, curls uh, inward and form this uh, inducient structure we can also call it a lamellar front. So this is the leaf and it uh, leaf lamina and this they uh, roll and they uh, roll and they form this inducia like structure where the sporangia is born. So sporangia it is this is the diagram of a sporangia which is we see it is pyriform or uh, pure shaped we see this is a this is a pure shaped structure so uh, it is uh, stalked and pure shaped we see multicellular stalk with a pyriform or pure shaped uh, sporangia and in the apical region we have annulus this is the annular region and we see that so the annular the region is much in elongated. Uh, the cells here they are elongated also, uh, and their uh, wall is much are thickened. Mono so uh, uh, this is the, the uh, annulus uh, uh, and sorry has a single um, by this uh, dehiscence so of the annulus the pores is are liberated. Early leptosporangiate ferns. So here this is the diagram this is the uh, picture of a sporangia 
where uh, this is the this is the annular region this is the annular region and uh, this this is the diagram where we see uh, that the uh, uh, annulus in this in this porangia it, it has been removed and by the dehiscence of these annulus uh, the spores are liberated so here also in this diagram we see that uh, the a few of the annular region they have just uh, dehisced and the rest they are still immature so they are uh, still intact in this so uh, the uh, the development of this sporangia is leptosporangiate. Leptosporangiate are those um, uh, sporangia where uh, the sporangia develop from a single uh, cell and these leptosporangiate sporangia are very much smaller. So uh, this is this is the but um, this is the fertile leaf where uh, the marginal flanges are shown and this is the this is the uh, uh, much uh, zoomed diagram of the sporangia the row of sporangia and how uh, the sporangial external structure looks so basically sporangia is pyriform with a stalk few celled uh, stalk the the pyriform sporangia with a few celled stalk the annular this is the annular the region sporangia and in this like is the young stromium, species so they develop sequentially in this, this manner petal fashion the are so uh, now the about sporangia, the spores they are matured year round uh, in under the tropical condition that is warm climate but if the plant is growing in a temperate region where during the winter season only the underground rhizome uh, um, region that contains the roots only those regions are pre are uh, present in the perinating structure and the upper leafy region that is the upper leafy regions they are usually they uh, the upper le uh, leafy region they become deciduous they uh, they are not found during the winter so only in during the winter the rhizome this portion the stem portion which remains underground only that portion survive so uh, um, after the winter during the springtime new leaves come up and after um, uh, the uh, during the springtime and in the summertime the sporulation occur in the uh, temperate regions uh, but in tropical region it occurs year round so sporulation is temperature dependent and in uh, it is always uh, in a acrofatal fashion so this sporulation uh, the sp uh, the sporangia it it is actually the structurally it is it has got a covering of a uh, few layer covering of which the inner uh, innermost layer it is called the tapentum which is actually nutritive in function so there are many layers the there are many layers so of all the layers the innermost layer say uh, this one i am drawing here so this one is the tapentum which is the nutritive layer this tapental layer the cell of this near tapental layer they disintegrate as the uh, sporogenous mass begin to mature and form the spores so this tapental layer disintegrate and provide nutrition to for the growing mass of the spores so this is the sporogenous mass this under this it is the sporogenous mass that forms the spore this is the tapentum this is the outer outer jacket uh, layer so and this is the stalk so any mature sporangium it produces generally 
from 250 to 1000 spores but usually uh, they remain from 200 to 300 spores in most of the species in the sporangia and all the spores the spores they are uh, the spore mother cell undergoes that there new will be a single and type of spore. division that is for uh, all the, the spore spores will be this process is called sporogenesis in, um, but as well as not all sporangia so, develop uh, into spores all the in Ligodium, certain uh, sporangia cordial, do uh, not hurt you. They are the sterile and, type uh, of this gametophytic generation actually starts with the spore is a characteristic and ends of with the Ligodium. But also other leptosporangiate, lower leptosporangiate ferns. Uh, this uh, lower leptosporangiate ferns are actually those ferns that appear quite early in the evolution of ferns. So this uh, sterile sporangia is characteristic of uh, lower leptosporangiate ferns. So in Ligodium, apart from having a uh, um, sterile sporangia, the fertile sporangia, inside the fertile sporangia, the spore mother cell undergoes meiosis division to form the spore. This process called sporogenesis, the spores that are formed are yellow in color and they are tetrahedral in shape. Tetrahedral we know this is like a uh, pyramid uh, shaped structure like this. So this can be either a tetrahedral shape or subglobose or globose in shape depending upon the species. But all the spores they are of trilete type. Now what are trilete type of spores? We see that this is the spore of Ligodium where we see that there are three lines that meet at a center. This type of spore is called trilete. If it would have been a monolete, then there will be just a single line. So this type of trilete spore that is present in the Ligodium, it is, it is a characteristic of Ordovician period ferns. Uh, the Ordovician um, ferns, they all the Ordovician ferns, they have this trilete spore. And those that are present, those pollens that are or spores that are present uh, much earlier to the Ordovician period, they have a cryptospore type of spore. And this cryptospore, cryptospore is present in the liver warts, which is a bryophyte. So we see that uh, this trilete type of spore is of evolutionary significance. Earlier to the Ordovician there were cryptospore, then came the trilete spore and later the monolete spore. Usually this trilete type of trilete type of spore uh, due to this it is called a very early uh, precursor uh, plant for the all the land plants. And finally, uh, trilete spore also uh, uh, tells us about the mitosis, about the meiosis division, that is a reduction division. How it occurs uh, in trilete type of spores, uh, meiosis, uh, the two division, they occur uh, in two planes, right angle to each other. But in case of monolith spores, they occur in only one plane. So, uh, this type of trilete spore present in Lycodium and the spore on its upper surface is varicose. Usually, the spores of all the leptosporangiate ferns and uh, they have an exine, outer exine and an intine, inner intine. Now, this exine, it is very warty and thick and the intine is much thinner. So only uh, uh, two type of sp um, spore, uh, um, spore uh, cap, uh, outer exine and inner intine. Outer exine is much thicker than the inner intine and all this type of uh, this ornamentation that we see here is due to the exine.
so uh, this uh, this is how the spore looks uh, on the outside and the spores they are dispersed by air water and even by animals so uh, this uh, spores as uh, because the leaves they climb uh, and they reach great height so uh, they are mostly dispersed by war, uh, by air to great distances and this year dispersal is one of the reason why uh, the spores spread to great uh, um, uh, length of uh, uh, region and uh, the distributional range becomes huge and the spores are generally produced during the summer in temperate region and year round in the tropical region the spores they are uh, these are the uh, this uh, as we see that they are greenish in color this type of spores which have um, uh, not much thick exine the exine is not much thick and also the intine it has got chlorophyllous uh, chlorophyll so these type of spores that are typically found in the tropical rainforest region or tropical region they are of short duration that is they do not reach uh, do not require much time for germination so if they get a suitable substratum they germinate immediately germination and formation of gametophyte is formed from 5 to 7 days only so next we deal with the gametophyte so the spore it germinates within two weeks of falling to the substratum and this type of heart shaped uh, gametophyte is produced this is the gametophyte that is produced and this gametophyte it is heart shaped that is chordate and this is this is biplanar so on the upper on the lower surface we see two type of structures that is the rhizoids and later the sex organ they are born on the lower surface so this uh, gametophyte it is green in color and photosynthetic and also it is temperature sensitive that is this type of gametophyte form is formed only when the temperature is much higher because if there is low temperature the gametophyte it is very sensitive to freezing so on the lower surface um, on the lower surface we see infection of various type of fungi some of which are beneficial whereas others are not so that much beneficial so lower surface um, the rhizoid fung uh, fungal infection and uh, the sex organs are found so this uh, ligodium species they are also self compatible that is uh, uh, anthridia and archegonia uh, from the same gametophyte can fertilize itself all also it can happen from fertilization can also happen from a sperm coming from the other uh, archegonia from other gametophyte so self as well as cross outcrossing both is done so this this is the uh, this is how the gametophyte looks and we see that uh, these are the rhizoids born and one of the main characteristic feature of this type of gametophyte of ligodium is the production of antheridiogens usually antheridiogens are gibberellic acid esters and these antheridiogens uh, gens they are uh, basically chemical uh, chemical substances that is responsible for this um, for this formation of anthridia on the surface on the uh, uh, lower surface of uh, young gametophyte what do i mean by this now this is a very old this is a uh, this is a very uh, old gametophyte say for example this is the old gametophyte which bears both uh, anthridia and archegonia now uh, the anthridia that is the male 
and the uh, archegonia that is the female both sex organ are contained in this type of gametophyte so this mature gametophyte containing both the sex organs they liberate in arc and 3d04 in the atmosphere in the in the not atmosphere but the surrounding area so um, the this anthridiogen they uh, they they reach the surrounding uh, young gametophyte that is uh, germinating very uh, young um, gametophyte so this anthridiogen what they do is they causes the young gametophyte to produce only anthridia that is it, uh, it it only uh, the young um, gametophyte that is formed near and around the old gametophyte they are they are uh, actually forced to form a male gametophyte because of this anthridiogen so this uh, type of uh, male gametophyte develop Uh, surrounding the hermaphrodite gametophyte and this uh, anthrid uh, anthridium that is produced in the uh, the gametophyte young gametophyte these are all male these are all male gametophyte so uh, this anthridia they produces a, a sperm which swim through the uh, water and reaches the male gametophyte the uh, the the female the hermaphrodite gametophyte so all the and the sperm they reach this uh this hermaphrodite and and, and gametophyte so we see that this female um uh, gamete um that is the egg cell in the uh in the mature gametophyte it can uh, receive sperm from all the surrounding anthridia as well as sperm from its own anthridia this this uh, helps in maximizing the rate of fertilization so after uh, this female uh, uh, gametoph uh, this uh, hermaphrodite gametophyte it is fertilized uh, the female uh, the, the egg is fertilized it stops secreting this and 3d ogen and 3d ogen secretion stops once there is fertilization so what happens to these small young developing and 3 uh, gametophyte then so after it is fertilized so uh, by this time uh, say for example um, um this uh, 10 to 15 weeks this uh, after um, uh, this fertilization is uh, completed by this time uh, 10 to 15 weeks has already uh, um, passed so uh, this uh, young gametophyte it start to increase in size so once it increases in size it turns from the male gametophyte it turns into a hermaphrodite gametophyte that is these all these male uh, gametophyte which were earlier containing only anthridium they increase in size they increase in size and they they uh, they uh, start to develop female gamete also so they also become hermaphrodite in this way uh, anthridiogen and uh, gametophyte conversion from uh, that is from male to uh, hermaphrodite this all is done so uh, once uh, the zygote is formed it, it develop it uh, undergoes repeated division to form a embryo that forms the again by repeated division forms the sporophyte that is the the dominant um, uh, phase in the life of a uh, fern we that so we this see is the life that cycle the the, uh, earlier it was all uh, so uh, this is the uh, sporophyte and this sporophyte is the plant body that we um, when we say fern this is the plant body that we talk about so this is um, this is diploid in nature and 
this is the dominant phase and uh, this uh, they reproduce by spore and also by rhizome since uh, these are the these these are the fertile leaves where we see the sporangia born so once the sporophyte become it has reached a uh, climb to great height and the plant is mature enough so uh, this type of uh, fertile leaves start to form and this is how the sporangia is born on the fertile leaf and you see two rows of uh, sporangia if we uh, take just one uh, terminal or one marginal lobe of the um, of the fertile leaf one of the marginal lobe we see that uh, the, it has got two rows of sporangia in a row on either side of the midrib and each of the sporangia has um, th hundred and hundred of spores so this is how the spore looks and each of the spore they when they fall on suitable substratum they germinate immediately to form this type of gametophyte so uh, up to uh, this uh, sporangia stage it is it is 2n then meiosis occur and we see this pore uh, from 2n we see that uh, this pore is this pore is haploid in nature so this pore is haploid this gametophyte is also haploid but inside the gametophyte the um, the sex organs that is the male sex organ is the anthridia and three media um, and the female sex organ archegonia so the sperm uh, they swim from the anthridia to the archegonia fertilize and a this gametophyte and inside the gametophyte only the zygote is formed the zygote divide uh, repeatedly form the embryo and the sporophyte so it happens that inside so the gametophyte while still inside the gametophyte of the um, ligodium and we up. should uh, remember a few points like this. that ligodium so this it is, is a leptosporangiate fern it is homosporous and um, this is also a characteristic it has got trilete so it is a trilete uh, spore type of fern and it produces Antheridiogens. Antheridiogens are very characteristic pheromones that is present in uh, this uh, ligodium. So I have made another video where I have discussed about an introductory uh, about the anatomy, morphology, about fossil forms and economic, ecological importance as well as control of uh, ligodium. So in case you are new, to, uh, you have watched this video, do watch that video also because that is an introductory video. And I have also made videos regarding other type of ferns and all the list i have uh, put in the description box also i have made videos on algae fungi on uh, on uh, lichens as well as bryophytes and cyanobacteria you can go to my channel and watch those videos and do uh, comment on um, any portion if you want me to de uh, describe in detail or any uh, topic you want me to uh, make a video on it do comment on so uh, on that if you like this video please do share it with your friends and also do subscribe because your subscription it encourages me thanks again for watching this video